on a roll. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Touchdown, Arkansas. Wow. 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 SEC on CBS. This afternoon, we are in Fayetteville. The Ole Miss Rebels come to town to take on the Arkansas Razorbacks. It is an emotional afternoon, as we saw two hours ago, in the middle of the field when the rain was really coming down. This is Martrell Spate. And I'll tell you, you can tell a football team when they've had to fight through a lot, through a season, through two seasons, and now have an opportunity to finish off their year. But they're going to do it just like we talked about it. They're going to do it the way... Play clock at three. Wallace takes off. As a starter now, because Laquan Treadwell is out for the year with an injury sustained against Auburn. And look at this. Both linebackers lined up inside right there, threatening the blitz. Now, will they come or peel out of it? Take the ball to Octavius Mathers. Wallace in trouble. And Ole Miss will punt. Mark Dotson is the running back now. Bo Wallace, right side. The tight end, Evan Ingram. They want to go fast. Very interesting. There's Wallace. Right, that ball's up. on the floor. That's on the floor. Who got it? Arkansas got it. It was Matrell Sprayton. That was the guy who was given the speech. He's the one that gets the hit. How about that? Play action. Wallace dropped 15. That's the second drop for Octavius Mather. Jalen Walton is on. Here's Wallace back to throw. Beautiful. Is it? It's so. incomplete. Yeah. No, thought he got it. Of the Ole Miss defense, only 10 points given up all year in the first quarter. And this is uh, Jalen Walton. Wallace lobs it out, right side. Jalen Walton. Remember this football game, he does. Flips it near side. Quincy out of boy Joe. Stiff on. Have a nice gain on first down. I'll bet you a dollar they go up tempo. He would have won. Deep right side. Caught. No drop. Incomplete. Evan Ingram. Wallace behind the intended receiver, but he makes the catch. That's Quincy out of Boyd. He gets the handoff, goes up the middle. Nothing. Martrell Spate, the senior, with another terrific play. Good for that football team as they enter the second quarter of this game. Wallace puts a little mustard on that one. Yeah. It has the tight end. Play action here. Little screen, middle screen, and that is records are said to be made to be broken, but that's insane. There's Wallace going down. Ball's out. Ball is out. Holy cow. And Wallace is injured. Darius Phylon, number 91. He's played in three games, including last week against Presbyterian. And he's got a nice start. Buchanan, his fourth game of the year, he'll throw. Whoa. Tipped. Oh, Martel Spate had a shot. Being chased. Incomplete. Member of the athletic staff, director of high school activities. 17 years he's been here. Here's Brian Buchanan. Devontae Kincaid. Here's Buchanan. That's too high. Mark Dodson, the intended receiver. Buchanan 0 for 3. Four-man rush, and it's a good rush. Now Buchanan sidearms it. Evan Ingram. It's incomplete. Fourth down. They're showing everything to this young quarterback. Look at this stacked look that Arkansas is using. And at the snap, Spate will go this way, Ellis will go the other way. Watch this. You're a young quarterback. You come in, bang! Double team out both guys on the slots by stacked linebackers. That's one of those defenses that is hard to prepare for. That would have been picked off. Everybody would have said, Bo, what are you thinking? But he threw it on timing, and he got it. First down, 10. They feed the running back. This is Jalen Walton. 
second down and nine. Here is Wallace. That one took off on him a little bit. Now the question is, was it catchable? Kevin Mitchell is the defender. The side judge called interference. Now is it catchable? There is no foul for pass interference as the pass was uncatchable. Third down. Four-man rush. Razorbacks. Wallace. Beautiful. First down. Beautifully designed route. There's all three timeouts left. Here's Wallace. Now how, how nimble can he be? Nimble enough to throw it there. A flag is thrown. The catch made by Quincy Adeboja. We got David Moulton. We got Butch Barrett. Listen and then the huge drive here. How about this drive for Ole Miss to get back in this football game at half? Chuck Gardner, the stats guy, informs us that was a 40-yard game. Just want to complete the acknowledgement. First down, 10. Wallace drills it. Dropped. Nope. Well, that's Evan not Engel. fair drop. Some 10, 11 years ago. Here's Wallace. No, he's got a man wide open. And it's intercepted. Tevin Mitchell. Intended for Markel Pat. That is only the second interception that Wallace has thrown in SEC play. There was a lot of space there, and you can't blame Bo for calling it. You get a crossing route right here, and that's the interceptor. Watch how much space there is when this ball is let go. But at the last second, the ball hung, as Vern said, and Tevin Mitchell didn't have pass interference. He had an interception. And that ball would have been thrown a little more. You have to step into those throws. First down, 10. Jalen Walton goes left. First down plus. Same play. Same block. This time, Brooks Ellis is there. Number 51. On seven. Mark Dotson gets the handoff here. And he'll need another four, or Ole Miss will, for Rush four. Pass complete. Evan Ingram, the tight end, stiff arm, and he gets additional yardage with that. Up the middle she goes. Jalen Walton breaks the first and tackle. Positive play. They might get him back for spring practice. Well, nice play. Martrell Spate. Spate now in the ball game. Third and eight. Motion. Wallace intercepted. Oh my goodness. Now there was a flag on the play. In the neutral side. Offside on the defense. Number 89. It's a five yard penalty. Replay, third down. Now, Vern, it's four down territory for Ole Miss right here. They're going to run the ball, aren't they? Not very effectively on that play. Well, it's going to come back. I think they'll go for it on fourth down. There'd be no doubt about it. The go to guy now could be anybody. Is it Ingram? Is it at the bottom? Is it going to be Vince Sanders, number 10, at the bottom? Fourth and three. Wallace under pressure. Arkansas takes over. And it's Trey Flowers, one of the defensive stars for this Razorback team, one of 20 seniors playing his last. He got a tweet, and he's not even on Twitter, from former Kentucky quarterback Jared Lorenzen saying you broke the record for heaviest quarterback to throw a touchdown, and I'm happy to give it away. A touchdown on the board. Oh, boy, wide open up the middle and then popped by Rohan Gaines. Yeah, Rohan Gaines, who had to sit out the first half because of the targeting penalty from the game before, comes in angry. Said, you know what? If I got to sit a half, I'm going to hit somebody. And he is absolutely Ole Miss's best chance. Over at the bench. Wallace, nice. Ingram, the tight end. A time on the play clock. Behind Evan Ingram. Yep, they did. One of two to the left side. Now in motion, he's in the slot. Oh, they got him open, and he's intercepted again. Picked off by Rohan Gaines. He's got a convoy. He's got a chance. Rohan Gaines, touchdown, Arkansas.
Arkansas. Florida won big today out of conference. Will Muschamp has one more game to coach for the Gators. That's Adeboy Joe again. Dropped. Third play in a row, same play. Well, he's got a quarter in just under three minutes to do it. Crossing pattern underneath. Markel Pack. Bumped out of bounds down near the 27 yard line. Put five wide receivers out there. Wallace. Offense. Hmm. Wallace too high. Almost picked off for a third time. Markel Pack was the intended receiver. Chased into the middle, incomplete. Goes over on downs. Sanders wants a flag. Hugh Freeze wants a flag. Bo Wallace, Wallace wants, wants a flag. flag. And they're not going to help him out. I believe it's Jared Collins again making the play. Comes around and just as the ball gets there, just as the ball got there, so did Jared Collins' arms get down there. Down 10. Just under... 15 to go here early in the fourth. That one, the flag is thrown as Jordan Wilkins gets the pass out of the backfield. Kincaid, a runner. Not on this play. Gives it off to Jordan Wilkins, and he is driven out of bounds. Nice double team tackle. Brooks Ellis leads the way. Kincaid will take off and not go very far. Darius Philo, number 91, Mobile, Alabama. Third down, 18. Whoa, it slipped out of his hand. It is picked up. Phylon, did he get in? No, he's... They're going to call him down, down on the, the one. one. Yes. 